Tofu is a good source of protein and contains all nine essential amino acids. It is also a valuable plant source of iron and calcium and the minerals manganese and phosphorus. In addition to this, it also contains magnesium, copper, zinc and vitamin B1. Like many soya foods, tofu originated in China. Legend has it that it was discovered about 2000 years ago by a Chinese cook who accidentally curdled soy milk when he added nigari seaweed. Introduced into Japan in the 8th century, tofu was originally called, okabe. Its modern name did not come into use until 1400. By the 1960s, interest in healthy eating brought tofu to Western nations. Since that time, countless research has demonstrated the many benefits that soya and tofu can provide. An excellent food from a nutritional and health perspective, tofu is thought to provide many of the same benefits as soya beans. A 100 gram serving contains 73 kilocalories, 4.2 grams fat, 0.5 grams sat fat, 0.7 grams carbohydrate, 8.1 gram protein. Due to the phytoestrogen content of soya, many women decide to include soya-rich foods like tofu in their diet as they enter the menopause. During the menopause, the body's natural production of estrogen significantly reduces, and symptoms may arise. As phytoestrogens act as a weak estrogen, they may help relieve symptoms by boosting levels slightly, reducing hot flushes in some women. Genetics, your gut microbiota and environmental factors play a huge part in how our bodies react to certain foods. So, as yet, we can't say whether a diet rich in phytoestrogenic foods is beneficial or not. If you are a vegetarian or vegan, soya-based foods like tofu can be an invaluable part of your diet. Given its neutral taste and range of consistency, tofu has an amazing ability to work with almost all types of flavors and foods. Extra firm tofus are best for baking, grilling and stir-fries, while soft tofu is suitable for sauces, desserts, shakes and salad dressings. Of course, it is up to you to experiment. Try slicing, marinating and grilling it, or chopping it up into smallish pieces and frying it with garlic until golden. Silken Tofu is a creamy, softer product. Tofu and all soya products contain large amounts of oxalate. Individuals with a history of kidney stones containing oxalate should avoid over-consuming soya products. Before changing your diet, it is advisable that you speak to your GP or an alternative health professional. Tofu, or bean curd, is a popular food derived from soya. It is made by curdling fresh soya milk, pressing it into a solid block and then cooling it, in much the same way that traditional dairy cheese is made by curdling and solidifying milk. The liquid, whey, is discarded, and the curds are pressed to form a cohesive bond. A staple ingredient in Thai and Chinese cookery, it can be cooked in different ways to change its texture from smooth and soft to crisp and crunchy. Everything you need to know about Tofu Medically Reviewed by Natalie Olson, R.D., L.D., ACSMEPC, written by Megan Ware, R.D.N., L.D. On September 27, 2017 Benefits Nutrition Preparation Tips Risks We include products we think are useful for our readers. If you buy through links on this page, we may earn a small commission. Here's our process. Tofu is made from soybean curds. It is naturally gluten-free and low in calories. It contains no cholesterol and is an excellent source of iron and calcium. It is an important source of protein, especially for vegans and vegetarians. Tofu is available for purchase in health food stores and online. It also contains isoflavins such as phytoestrogens. Isoflavins may have both estrogen agonist or estrogen antagonist properties. These may help protect against some cancers, heart disease, and osteoporosis. However, overconsumption may also present some risks. Tofu is made by coagulating soy milk to create curds. The curds are then pressed and compacted into the gelatinous white blocks recognized as tofu. This MNT Knowledge Center feature is part of a collection of articles on the health benefits of popular foods. A diet that contains a variety of plant-based foods appears to contribute to overall health and well-being and a lower risk of conditions such as obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. It can enhance the skin and hair, boost energy, and help maintain a healthy weight. Research has linked tofu, with its high levels of isoflavins, to a lower risk of several age and lifestyle-related diseases. 
Soy isoflavins have been found to help reduce levels of LDL, bad, cholesterol, although it does not seem to increase HDL or good, cholesterol levels. Studies have indicated that daily consumption of soy may decrease markers for cardiovascular disease risk, including weight, body mass index, BMI, and total cholesterol. The FDA has set 25 grams a day of soy protein as the minimum intake needed to impact cholesterol levels. Consuming tofu as an alternative to animal protein can help lower levels of LDL cholesterol. This, in turn, decreases the risk of atherosclerosis and high blood pressure. Several clinical and experimental investigations have suggested that genistein, the predominant isoflavone in soy, has antioxidant properties that may inhibit the growth of cancer cells. In the past, confusion has arisen about the safety of consuming soy after a breast cancer diagnosis. This is because isoflavins have a chemical structure similar to that of estrogen, and high levels of estrogen can increase the risk of breast cancer. However, consuming moderate amounts, or less than two servings a day, of whole soy foods, does not appear to affect tumor growth or the risk of developing breast cancer. Instead, there is growing evidence that regular soy intake may decrease breast cancer recurrence. However, the evidence is not yet strong enough to recommend soy to all breast cancer survivors. Researchers call for more studies to confirm how genistein works, how it could be used therapeutically, and its bioavailability, or how well the body can absorb it. People with type 2 diabetes often experience kidney disease, causing the body to excrete an excessive amount of protein in the urine. Evidence from one study has indicated that those who consumed only soy protein in their diet excreted less protein than those who only consumed animal protein. The researchers propose that this could benefit patients with type 2 diabetes. Protein, and particularly soy protein, may enhance renal function, and it could have benefits for people who are undergoing dialysis or kidney transplantation. One meta-analysis of nine trials showed a positive effect of soy on some biomarkers of those with chronic kidney disease. This may be due to its protein content, but also because of its impact on lipid levels in the blood. Soy isoflavins may help reduce bone loss and increase bone mineral density, especially after menopause. They have also been reported to reduce some other symptoms of menopause. Some research has suggested that consuming soy products may help relieve symptoms of menopause, such as hot flashes, because of the phytoestrogens they contain. While symptoms may differ between women, hot flashes appear to be far less common in Asian countries, where people consume more soy. Conflicting results have been produced, but there is evidence that consuming soy products that are rich in genistein may help reduce the frequency and severity of hot flashes. However, more studies are needed to establish exactly what happens and why. One study in rats has suggested that any type of tofu that has been curdled with various coagulants may help prevent liver damage caused by free radicals. Population studies have indicated that, in regions where people consume more soy, there is a lower incidence of age-related mental disorders. However, results have been mixed. One research group found that treatment with soy isoflavins was linked to better performance in nonverbal memory, verbal fluency and other functions. When the same group carried out a further small study, involving 65 people over the age of 60 years with Alzheimer's, they did not find that soy isoflavins offered any cognitive benefits. However, findings published in 2017 suggested that soy products may help people with Alzheimer's due to their lecithin content, which helps the body produce the phospholipids phosphatidic acid PA, and phosphatidylserine PS. PA and PS play an important role in the functioning of neurons. It also provides small amounts of thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, choline, manganese, and selenium. Soy is the prime component of tofu. It is a complete source of dietary protein, which means it provides all of the essential amino acids needed in the diet. Soybeans are also high in healthy polyunsaturated fats, especially omega-3 alpha-linolenic acid. The isoflavins in soy foods have been linked to a range of health benefits, but also some risks. The calcium and magnesium in soy may help strengthen bones, lessen symptoms of PMS, regulate blood sugar, and prevent migraine headaches. 
tofu comes in several different consistencies extra firm firm soft or silken firm and extra firm tofu is denser than soft or silken tofu and retains more of its shape when cooked this makes it suitable for grilling and stir frying soft tofu works well in casseroles and soups silken tofu is best for puddings and dips and it can be blended into smoothies for added protein tofu is commonly found in asian cuisine particularly in east and southeast asia its neutral flavor allows it to be easily incorporated into any recipe tofu is used in many meat substitutes such as tofu sausages and tofu burgers these taste and feel like the meat they are imitating soy foods can be a healthful alternative to meat products but there is some controversy about a number of their health effects Findings from animal models have also suggested that the level of risk of tumor growth depends on the degree to which an isoflavone-containing product has been processed. It is better to consume tofu and other soy foods that have undergone minimal amounts of processing, like soybeans or edamame, tofu, tempeh, and soy milk. Products made from tofu, such as tofu sausages, may contain additives such as sodium and flavorings that make them less healthful. It is important to check the nutrition label when buying processed foods. A further concern with a high soy intake is that the phytoestrogen in soy produce may have a mildly feminizing effect, and that this could lead to complications such as gynecomastia, breast development in men, or that it could impact fertility. However, the impact is probably not severe enough to prevent the use of soy in infant and other foods. Soy products originating in the U.S. are often genetically modified. GM, soy products may also be processed with hexane, a solvent that is used to extract oil from soybeans. For anyone who is concerned about genetic modification or hexane processing, organic food may be a good choice. The key to good health is a healthful lifestyle, with a balanced and varied diet and regular exercise, rather than focusing on one dietary item. A range of tofu products are available for purchase online. Now we have our delicious but nutritious snacks, Lumpiang Tofu with Cheese. Eat healthy, be healthy. Thank you, for watching.